What's up guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you exactly how to spy on your competitors SEO. So if you want to know how to outrank them in terms of off-page SEO, on-page SEO, if you want to steal their keywords, then this video is going to teach you everything you need to know. And these are the exact steps I use to spy on my competitors and by the end of this video you'll know exactly how to do it yourself too. So if you want more rankings, if you want to get more traffic to your website, if you want to outrank your competitors, this video is for you. By the way, please make sure you subscribe if you want regular videos on how to increase your rankings, how to get more traffic with SEO and how to rank number one with search engine optimization. All right, so first place to look if you're gonna spy on your competitor is Ahrefs. And this will give you like 80% of the information you're looking for, right? So let's say you are a plumber in London and you're going through some of your competitors and you wanna spy on one of them. So let's say, let's take Plum Force Direct, for example. What you can do is just put your competitor's URL into this section here on the Site Explorer. Hit search like that. And what this is gonna do once it loads is basically pull up all the information that you're looking for when it comes to your competitors, competitor info, right? So for example, you can see the backlinks, you can see what sort of keywords they're ranking for, you can see who they're competing with, so you can get even more competitive information from other websites. And there's just so much data here. But let's focus on the most important pieces first so that you don't get overwhelmed. So the first thing we're gonna look at is backlinks, right? So if we hit backlinks like this, what you can see here is a list of your competitors' backlinks. Now, this is useful for a few reasons, because number one, you can reverse engineer how your competitors get backlinks and how can you approach the same websites to get similar backlinks, right? So you could make a list of all the backlinks that your competitors have, and then approach these websites and say, hey, I noticed you linked to plumforcedirect.co.uk, maybe you want to link to us too, here's the reasons why, here's a good resource to link to, yada, yada, yada. So it's as easy as that, really. Um, and the good thing is about Ahrefs as well, is that you can look at, for example, their new backlinks. So you can see, okay, what are my competitors doing in the last month or the last 30 days to get backlinks? And how can I emulate that myself? Because if you look at all of their backlinks, you may see that you know, some of these sites are no longer accepting link building opportunities. Then another reason for doing this is to see, right, can you realistically compete with this website, you know? For example, if this website is only getting like DR70, DR80 links, can you realistically compete with that or is it gonna to be too difficult? So this is a very powerful way to check your competitors backlinks and you can export all the data there. You can also filter out like websites from a certain domain rating or a certain amount of traffic, what types of backlinks they're getting, and whether these links are do follow or no follow. So whether these links are actually getting link juice or whether they're no follow and they don't pass any link juice to the website they get the link from. Almost too much information there when it comes to link building, but it's definitely enough to spy on your competitors. Next up, it's time to look at your organic keywords. So you wanna go through your competitors keywords and see what are they ranking for that I'm not yet ranking for myself, right? So you can scroll through this list and you can find a ton of opportunities for keywords that you could potentially rank for. So for example, you can see this site is getting a decent amount of traffic from Plumber London, from Boiler Repair London, from keywords like Plumber Near Me, which is a local search term. So if you spot any opportunities that you're not already ranking for, then this piece of research can be very useful. Or see, if you're in, say, a certain country for example you can filter down here by the US by Australia by India or by the UK now obviously if you're a plumber in London for example you only want to look at the keywords this competitor is ranking for in London to get more relevant prospects coming to your website now over here you can also see like the volumes of each keyword the keyword difficulty so how hard or easy it is to rank for and as you can see this competitors top search terms actually all have a fairly low keyword difficulty. So this metric, it goes from zero to 100, zero being the easiest, 100 being the highest. And right now this keyword, and right now this competitor is getting a lot of traffic from very low competition keywords. Now if they're low competition, that means that you could potentially rank for them too, and it wouldn't be too difficult to do that. And then over here in this column, the URL column, you can actually analyze the pages that this website is getting traffic from, right? So you can, click on the page like that, you can scroll through, and then you can see directly, right, 
can I beat this page? Can I write better content than them? How are they optimizing this page to rank for this particular keyword? And there's all sorts of information that you can basically steal or spy from your competitors to help your own rankings too. And the good thing is, well, it's gonna save you a lot of time because they've done all the hard work for you, right? They've found the keywords, they've created the content, they've discovered which keywords they can actually rank for, and then you can take all the data from your competitors and use it for your own site to your own advantage. Now, another useful, now another useful feature is the keywords section over here, and you can see paid keywords, right? So you can basically spy on, you, on your competitors and see what sort of advertising are they doing to get traffic. Because if they're advertising for a particular set of keywords, it may be that these keywords are converting very well and therefore you want to target them too. So you can see for this particular competitor, they're going after gas boiler repair and boiler fixed price repair, right? So potentially these could be money keywords that are gonna land you sales as well if you bid for them on Google AdWords. So not only do you get SEO metrics from this particular platform, but you also get competitor data on paid ads too. So it's useful all around. Now, another useful feature is what you can actually do is if you type your own URL into this section here, and then you scroll down to content gap, you can type your top three competitors in this list here, hit show keywords. And what Ahrefs will do then is analyze your top three competitors versus your website and give you a list of the opportunities that your competitors are ranking for that you're not already ranking for. So you can sort of compare the difference. You can find missing opportunities that you've not thought about. And it kind of automates the keyword research for you because it says, right, these are all the keywords you're not already ranking for. These are the keywords that you're missing out on. And therefore, you should potentially go for them if you see business value in them. Now, another really useful tool for analyzing your competitors is Phrase.io. And this is really useful because when you're creating outlines for content, when you're deciding what to write about, what to cover in your blog articles, you can easily use a tool like Phrase.io and it will analyze all the competitors ranking for that keyword already on the first page of Google. And then it will tell you, right, this is what your competitors are doing. This is how you can outrank them. This is how you can make your content better. And it basically automates a lot of the competitive research for you when it comes to on-page SEO. So for example, if we look at a recent article of ours, it might take a little while to load, but as it does, basically Phrase is going to analyze all the key metrics around this particular search term. So you can see here on the right panel, it gives you a breakdown of what's the average word count your competitors are going for when it comes to this keyword. What sort of headers are they including? How many links are they getting to each page? How many images are they including on the page as well? And then as we scroll down, you can see the basically fry you can see that basically phrase has given us an overview of what our competitors are doing right now. So you can see the title, you can see the meta description, you can see all the H taggers. So these are basically headers, H tags, um, and what sort of headings they've included in their content. And then you can actually even paste the outline. You can copy that into the outline over here and all the competitor information you need to know for on-page SEO is right here. It's laid out for you. And as you can see here, I've pre-prepared a content outline using phrase. So I can see what people are asking when they come onto Google around this particular keyword. Uh, what's already ranking on the first page of Google in terms of meta tags and meta descriptions? What sort of keywords and topic classes people are using? So literally, there's almost too much information here, like when it comes to on-page SEO. But if you want to spy on your competitors, if you want to get a really detailed, comprehensive breakdown, then Phrase.io is the best place to do. Plus, you can also analyze your content in terms of topic score. You can check out what people are searching for right now when it comes to this topic uh, on Quora, on Reddit, on Google, on the SERPs. And you can find related content that you could potentially get inspiration from as well. So if you're creating a blog outline for a writer or someone on your team or even for yourself, then Phrase.io will automate a lot of the competitor research for you and save you like hours of messing around and trying to figure this out yourself. Now, sometimes you wanna get some PR to your website, you wanna get more backlinks to your website, and you wanna find out what have your competitors have been doing to do that recently themselves. Now, this is a free way to do that, right? So what you can do is 
you can type in minus, then your competitor's URL, and then written by the author of your competitor, right? So, for example, if we took like Neil Patel's website, he's not really a competitor of mine, but he talks about a lot of marketing and SEO related topics, right? So I put neilpatel.com with a minus sign before it, then written by Neil Patel. And what this will do when I search it is give me a rundown of loads of guest blogs written by Neil Patel. And then what I can do is say, right, probably some of these opportunities aren't gonna be relevant anymore or they're no longer accepting guest posts. But let's look at, say, the last year and find some opportunities there. And you can see on Blogspot, for example, on dimensionscontent.com. Sorry, just ignore that last minute. So you can see, for example, on Blogspot. So for example, you can see on hubspot.com, Neil Patel's recently produced a guest post on there. Potentially, they're seeking opportunities from other marketers too. And I could reach out to them and say, hey, I noticed you mentioned Neil Patel recently. Maybe you want to link to us too. Um, we'd be happy to produce a guest post for you and that sort of thing. So that's a free way to find guest posting opportunities, but also to look at what's working for your competitors recently. So make sure you go in tools, filter to past year or past month, use the search metrics I've outlined before, and you can easily do this to find relevant PR and guest blogging opportunities for your website too. Now, one final way to spy on your competitors is to create Google Alerts. And here, what you can do is basically set up alerts via Google that say, whenever my competitor is mentioned, send me an email update so that I can check out where they've been mentioned, what website they've been mentioned on, and how they've done it. So for example, if we use our earlier example of Plum Force Direct, and we click on Show Options, you probably don't wanna get notifications about that every day, but once a week is fine. You can change the sources, so do you want that to be from blogs, from news, from the web? what language, so if you're operating in an international language, maybe you've got a website in French, for example, you can change the language there. Any particular region, so any particular country that you're targeting, and then you can change it between all results or only the best. And if you click on only the best, it will try and filter out basically the best quality results related to that keyword, and try and filter out the irrelevant stuff as well. And then you just click on create alert. And what that will do is when your competitor is mentioned, you'll receive, and what that will do is when that's mentioned, you'll receive email notifications from Google Alerts about your competitor. So it's an easy way to automate the spying on your competitors and quickly get notifications whenever they receive PR or backlinks from other websites. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this video helped you. That's exactly how I spy on my competitors and how you can too. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be really happy to help you. By the way, I do run a link building agency. That's at juliangoldie.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you want a tailor-made link building strategy that's gonna help you get better rankings, outrank your competitors, and build more authority to your site, then feel free to jump on my website. That's juliangoldie.com and book in a free consultation call. We'll be really happy to help you and I hope to see you on the other side. Thanks.